Okay, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna continue with packages on this Python introduction course. And I'm planning that the next video is gonna be all of the NumPy instead of splitting it up by these videos. This one is about importing packages. Okay, so they want us to calculate the circumference and the area, which they gave us the formulas on here. But to do that, we need pi for both of these. And to get pi, we're going to import the math package. So I believe it's just import math. This one is odd to me. I always did my imports at the very top. We're doing it in the middle. I guess that's perfectly fine. It's just weird to me. Okay, so they defined radius. They have. Uh, the C for circumference and the A for area. So we're going to do C equals 2 times math dot pi, which I got from here. Oh, oh, is it? Wait a second. Okay, the constant is pi, but... In the instructions, they still say to use math.py. So I'm going to do that. That always confused me in Java. I don't think it's helping in Python. Times the radius. So we're going to do times r. And then we're going to, oops, I'll put times twice. And then we're going to calculate the area which is math.py times, oh, the radius squared. Okay, so we're going to do r, and in Python, isn't it that for power, or is it math.py? All right, let me look this up. Okay, so I came to a search engine and I typed Python exp exponent. That's the way I search for something. I uh, just put the, make sure to put the language and then something specific that I want to do. Exponent should be a fairly simple thing and there should be lots of resources. So this article tells three ways to do this. The first is to use the double star. Okay, so I would do r star star 2, I believe. The next way they have is this pow function. So you just do pow, and I think this would be pow r 2. And then z is the modulo, which I don't know what that has to do with anything, but it's optional. And then the other way is in the math, uh, in the math module, which is what we just imported with import math. There's a pow function in there as well. So you do math.pow, and then I believe it will be r to, yeah, x to the power of y, so r to the power of 2. So the one way, because in here it never tells which way they care for us to do. Since I had the two stars, I'll just do that, and then I'll run it. Uh, I'll submit and see if that's what they're looking for. All right, good. Excellent. Nice. If you know how to deal with functions from packages, the power of a lot of Python programmers is at your fingertips. Okay, that's cool. And after packages, we're going to do numpy. And that is an import, I believe. All right, selective import. Okay, so in the last uh, section, we could have actually done from math import pi because we didn't end up using power anyway. But if we wanted to be able to use power and we wanted, um, you know, maybe other functions from there, then we would want to import math. All of it. Okay, now it wants us to import only the radians function from math. 
So I should be able to do this similar to what they show in the example. From math, import radians. And they have some uh, scenario here. Oh, okay, we're assuming that the moon's orbit around Earth is a perfect circle. And we're supposed to calculate calculate the diff calculate the distance traveled by the moon over twelve degrees of its orbit. So the result of this calculation is dist. I assume for distance. So I'll declare a new variable. So this is R, which they've defined on line two. So I'll put R times, what's this, PHI. Phi is the angle in radians. To convert an angle in degrees to an angle in radians, use the radians function. So somewhere, I'm guessing we have to declare phi. Phi is, phi is an angle in radians, and we need to use the radians function. So let's pretend we know what we're doing. And do radians. Now, we need to calculate an angle, and the angle is in degrees. Well, we can do step, or line 12, which is just print dist. Okay. The only thing I'm missing is line 8. Oh! 12 degrees. Traveled. The distance traveled by the moon over 12 degrees of its orbit. So this is supposed to be 12. If I run this, what happens? We get a number. Let's see if we submit. <gasps> oh, dude, that was all it needed. Okay, okay. I do not like getting into the math stuff in programming. I like math, I like programming, I don't like to mix them. I don't understand math well enough to do any good at any of this. Alright, let's head to the next exercise. Different ways of importing. Alright, for this we're doing a multiple choice question. Now what it's saying is, we want to use the function inv, which is in the linalg sub package of oh sci pi okay so so to state this in a different way we're using the sci pi package which contains lin alg i wonder what that is and in there we want inv So I like that they're doing scipy.linalg. I really want to know how to say that. So I'm thinking it should be either of these last two because we can import the function specifically. So from scipy.linalg import. Oh, we're importing inv. But we want to be able to use the function as my inv. So that's why we have this as, import inv as my inv. Submit answer. Correct. The as word allows you to create, sorry, correct. The as keyword allows you to create a local name for the function you're importing. Okay, which we're probably going to use when we move on to NumPy.
All right, and just to show you, the last section of this introduction to Python is NumPy. I'm planning to do this entire thing because these videos have gotten ridiculously short because I'm only doing a third of one section. So I'm planning to do all of NumPy because you see if I don't, we have these sections, we have a video and then a few more, and then we have another video and the last three, which is probably going to be too short anyway. Or another option is I can do this first whole group as one video, and I can do the second group and the third group as a second video. We'll see how it goes. Um, if you have an opinion, let me know. But I'll see when I'm doing it how long they take. And thank you for watching. And have a good day. And uh, let me know what projects you're working on. I haven't said that in a while.